K-nearest neighbor or KNN algorithm is a supervised learning technique that is mainly used for classification problems. It captures information from all training cases and classifies a new case based on similarity or how their neighbors are classified. The number of nearest neighbors to consider is a user-defined constant known as the K in the KNN algorithm. The new case is assigned to the class which has the most representatives within the nearest neighbors. What is K in the KNN algorithm? K is the number of nearest neighbors that helps to assign a label to the new case. There is no particular formula to find the value of K, although the most preferred is 5. In general, remember that the very low value for K, such as 1 or 2, can be noisy so it is not suitable to use. On the other hand, a larger K suppresses the effects of noise but makes the classification boundaries less distinct. It is also called a lazy learner algorithm because it does not learn from the training set immediately. Instead, it stores the data set. And when it gets new data, it classifies that data into a category that is much similar to it. To explain how KNN works, here's a simple example. Let's say data about the height, weight, and shirt size of employees have been collected. Unfortunately, one employee wasn't able to indicate his shirt size. Using KNN, let's predict the size based on the data set. Let's put the features as data points in a graph. The first feature is weight in kilograms, and the second feature is height in centimeters. Based on the collected data, these red dots are the data points, weight and height, that represent the employees with small size shirts while these blue dots are the data points for the employees with medium-sized shirts. The orange dot is the data point of the new case, and we are going to predict if the new case has small or medium shirt size. Step 1. Select the value for k. For this example, the k is 5. This means we are going to look for 5 data points that are closest to the new case. Step 2. Calculate similarity based on the distance function. There are several ways to calculate the distance between data points. The most familiar is the Euclidean distance. For example, in two data points, the Euclidean distance is the square root of the square of x2 minus x1 plus the square root of y2 minus y1. This is the computation of distance between the first sample labeled data and the new data. We continue finding the distance between the new sample and all the training cases. Step 3. Take the k-nearest neighbors as per the calculated Euclidean distance. We will be able to identify the nearest neighbors by calculating the rank in terms of distance. The smallest distance value will be ranked 1 and considered the nearest neighbor. After ranking the distances, these observations are found to be the closest to the new case. Step 4. Among these k-neighbors, count the number of the data points in each category. Looking at the graph, these are the first to fifth ranks in terms of the shortest distance between the sample labeled data and the new data. There are four red data points and one blue data point close to the orange dot. We can also say that there are four small size and one medium size shirts that are close to the new case. Step 5. Assign the new data points to the category for which the number of the neighbor is maximum. Remember that a new case is assigned to the class which has the most representatives within the nearest neighbors. With this said, we can now conclude that since there are more red dots in the nearest neighbors, the employee with a known shirt size is predicted to have a small size shirt. I hope this video helped you in understanding the concept of one of the simplest supervised machine learning algorithms called k-nearest neighbor. The next video will be about the naive bias algorithm. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.